Hi guys, today we're going to take a closer look at our everyone's favorite Eaton's Toilet. Probably the only reason you guys look at my collection anymore. So, I've still got the original, I believe, Telso seat. It still needs some cleaning. We've given this thing a massive cleaning. Well, in parts other than the seat, though. With all the red algae off, this looks like a crane. It is basically a rebranded crane. See, we've got the same seat as this crane front trap here. We've got the same lever off cla classic crane toilets. Hell, even the type of font right here, see they have dashes like... Oh, this crane doesn't have a dash, darn. Pretty sure this Radcliffe does. Just let me take a second. Yep, it does. It's got the CSA approved, which is nice. Then, you all know I did a video about a, a purple one similar to this. Got the same kind of base. I'd like to get a video of this one I found back at my dad's town at a nature center. It was almost exactly like this. It was crane with its original Olsenite seat, except the base was rounded, not square. But yeah, the purple one I've seen, you guys know. I find it odd because, see, this one has more of a flat base, but the purple one has the thing down here where you can lift. Notice these cracks here. They've been here since I've got it. They haven't caused me any trouble yet, though, but I'd still like to get them patched. They're not as nasty as they look, though. Don't have any crane stickers like my crane front trap has. Well, had. I don't know where my sticker for it went. First quality crane and whatever. It was probably peeled off a long time ago. The house I got it from is, well, was abandoned. It was demolished in April. I forgot to tell you guys that. Now it's just clear planes. And back here we've got the difficult tank back thing. And inside the tank it's, the, it's basically a crane too. Except it doesn't have Crane Canada on the top or in a serial number. Instead it has E548. Well, we have actually a serial number V here. Crane like to use those. Waterline. This ball cock here. You've seen, this is the one from the Crane Front Trap. I'm just borrowing it. I want to buy one of these. Uh, because the Edens already has something like this. See, it came with this master ball cock. I've got a new ball thing on it, but yeah, it was slow, and I didn't know at the time you could bend the rod, but I still think just a small hover line would be better. See, this right here is from the Eatons. It was connected to that master ball cock. Yeah, so I'll just get a hover line 8 inch ball cock and hook this up to it. It'll work like a charm, I'm sure. So that will be as original as possible. Speaking of original, got this lever. Right here, this flush valve. These things are actually branded crane on the side. For a flapper, it's a hover line. I'll take it off later. So not the original crane flapper, but you can literally feel crane printed on the side of the flush valve. I haven't been able to get it off. Have you seen the, notice that crack. I think it was either me, I don't think it was me though. Pretty sure that was already here. Yeah, someone fastened the flush valve or the original bolts too tight and it cracked. So next summer when it's hot out, that's a project I'm going to have to do. So now I'm just going to take off the tank here. 
See, I've given it new bolts and some wing nuts. You can see that gasket. If I ever install it, I'll do it way tighter than this. Mm, but yeah. Just have to give me a second to take the tank off. So I just got the tank off. Just your basic master plumber bolts and gasket here. See, that's our crane flush valve. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn, I'm going to take this seat off so we can get a, get a good rim view here. Sorry, this is taking forever, but you can see the seat doesn't have a bolt cap. You have to take it from here. Yeah, I saw a blue seat Telso, I believe, on eBay. It was over $100. eBay is an absolute cash grab when it comes to toilets. I would never buy anything off there. I've heard complaints of how the bowls come destroyed when you order them. So yeah, I'll prefer my Kijiji and just inquiries, basic inquiries here in BC, thanks. Ugh. So here you can see how stubborn this one is, here is. Am I even going the right way? Nope. Ah. The seat right here, it's kind of falling apart. Well, falling apart. Look at that. You can literally do this right here and put it back together no difficulties I've had a couple seats fall apart when I've taken them off this one from the crane front traps being stubborn though I don't know if it'll fall apart when I take it off or whatever but these ones are very easy to piece back together so it's not much of a problem so here third room view nice eh now I'm going to tip this over Without breaking it. Here, I'm gonna give you a quick side view. No printing on the flat ends. I'm gonna fully flip the thing over. See, we've still got the disgusting old wax ring on here. I'm gonna have to remove this in the near future. That's a good winter project. Got the marking 51 See right here. Looks really new from the inside. The bowl right here. See very deep crevice right here. The trap goes a short way down. So I'm trying to figure. So. So it ejects here from the trap. That's not a bad design. It's harder to get clogged, I guess. Well, this is probably the most vulnerable part to where it clogs. Comes out this thing. I'm not gonna touch that without gloves. Yeah, we got the serial mark 116. Which is kinda funny. Because this is also branded 116, my crane front trap tank. So this basically proves my statement that this is a rebranded crane. Still awesome though and I love it. Very unique. Yeah, that was my closer look at the Eden's toilet for you. I hope you guys enjoyed. 
I'd like to make more videos of this and all. One thing before we go, pretty sure this is only two bolted. Yep, it is not, not a four bolt like a crane front trap. Don't know why I'm comparing the Eatons to the crane front trap. They're two different toilet models. Yeah, that's my whole thing. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next video. Bye.